G'day, how you going? So we're going to talk about bracketing and Luminar Neo and HDR. So bracketing basically is just taking three photos or five photos, whatever you want, uh, in a row. Uh, and <clears throat> each photo has a different exposure. So it's exposure bracketing, HDR. So and then what you do in Luminar, you combine them all together <clears throat> and you get um, one photo out of that. So the idea really then is you want to um, get a perfect exposure all the way through. So your sky is perfectly exposed, your foreground, etc. So because if you take a photo normally, the ground is OK, but then the bloody the sky is blown out. And because it goes really fast, uh, you can get it all in one hit. Now you can do it the slow way, but you need a tripod and with that you can take um, your zero exposure and then just use the exposure compensation button to drop um, whatever whatever bracket that you want you don't have to exactly do minus one or plus one you can do a third or a two thirds whatever you want but remember you've got to be on the tripod because every shot has to be exactly the same <laughs> and wind is your enemy especially if you've got trees and shit. Now you can do this in um, Lightroom, uh, Photoshop, but I'm no psychologist, <laughs> so <clears throat> I don't know how to do that. Um, so I just let, you know, the nerds, you know, the COBOL, Fortran, Python, whatever the bloody program it's written in, uh, Luminar Neo, um, those nerds over in the Ukraine to help me out. <laughs> it's just easier. Uh, and you know me, I like easy. So on my Olympus, I can choose the button, the shortcut to go to the HDR. And you can either choose HDR1 or HDR2. Now these are for in-camera HDR. So they'll actually uh, take the photo, three photos, and combine them inside the camera to create a JPEG. But if you want to do bracketing just for the sake of bracketing three shots, and you can pick the best shot out of the three or you want to use those three shots to combine it in software like what i'm doing now you can use these ones here free photos free frames at the f frames uh, that's two stops either side that's five photos with two stops either side seven photos and then you get the picture skylum actually own aurora hdr that's the first one that i bought now i've done a video on this before basically it's the same thing you just have to open up three images and then um, the minus two, zero, and plus two, and then you just do create HDR, and you got auto align. It's got all the features like that. The beauty of Aurora HDR, it has its own inbuilt sliders, so you can buy that as a standalone. So if you just want HDR, you don't want Luminar, and you don't want all the other things that come with Luminar, Neo, sorry, um, just get Aurora HDR. It's probably cheaper. You know, if you're not happy with what the computer, um, you know the boffs did with their algorithm whatever the hell hdr then you can you know keep changing it plus they also got uh presets you know vivid uh, bright sunlight glowing gives it like a bit of a glow <laughs> anyway let's go over to luminar neo all right so now in luminar neo you've got this new thing called hdr merge now, I'm pretty sure it's the same thing as Aurora HDR, um, the, the engine that they use, like whatever engine. Now it's just easier to grab um, the files directly in Luminar Neo and um, do it. So here's one that I did on that holiday with I went with Jerry. That's the normal shot, the minus and the plus. It was very, very windy. Uh, I'm not sure if this one's going to turn out. But um, let's just try our luck anyway. So control, control, control. Well, if you see the little border, and then just drag them over to this HDR merge. You can also go into the bits where you do the auto align, which I'll probably need it here because the bloody wind was so, so bad. Jerry, we're nearly home. I just want to go home. <laughs> I don't like it, Jerry. I get scared. 
All right, I think I got some good shots there. Uh, I don't know, I'd have to blend them all together for the uh, HDR. Chromatic aberration, I don't really get that much of that, so I don't really turn that on. And then ghost reduction, that, was, that would be good because moving subjects, like I said, it was very windy that day. Bada bing, bada boom, merge. And that's your HDR photo, your free brackets and it merged into one. Now it didn't really turn out as what I thought it would turn out. I mean, it, the sky's all right, but you can always um, do more to it. So that's the beauty because you already are in Luminar. Just go to develop. Um, I think it's a little bit too bloody dark if you ask me. So a bit of contrast, highlights, uh, bring them down. You always check here. You can see where the highlights and the shadows are. So I like to do that to make sure that nothing gets blown out. Uh, bring those shadows in the front there a little bit out. Uh, can you tell I'm just winging it? <laughs> That's the beauty of Lumina. Um, it's really easy. I like a little bit more crunchiness in my photos. So I'm just going to make it a little bit more crunchy. The other tools also can um, blow out your highlights and stuff. But that, I'm, I'm okay with that, with those little bits of blown out clouds there that's fine now i like to fix the sky a bit now the beauty of luminar is you can go back to the develop tool and adjust other areas you can do it as many times as you want so when you go into develop and then you close it or you go to that one and you close it what you're doing is you're kind of doing it over and over again on top of each other if you notice i've already done a develop one but i can do another one now so let's do develop let's go to masking mask ai May the force be with you. Sky, there you go, it picked it. How good is Luminar, eh? <laughs> I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. A bit more contrast. Did I blow it out? No. I want to make the rocks a bit more crunchy as well. So I can go to structure, masking. Now you can try the old um, mountains. What did that do? So it didn't do it exactly. Natural ground. That's useless architecture what the hell there's sometimes the computer doesn't know what the hell it's doing it's just easier just to bloody brush it oh, i found anyway i mean how hard is that just go bang 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 it's only when you need to be precise really and you know you don't really need to be that precise crunchy 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 see that brings out a little bit more of the crunchiness there i think over here it needs to be a little bit brighter. So what I do, there's this cool... Uh, actually, before I do that, super contrast. I always like doing that. So go there. I just like to play around with the sliders. I don't really know what I, what the hell I'm doing. I'm just looking I'm looking at the photo more than anything. For me, that's Luminar Neo. If it looks good, then do it. There aren't any rules, Rob. Hey, Jerry. There aren't any rules. There you go. I like that a bit more there around there and then i like to touch up a little bit with the old dodge and burn but be careful with the strength on the old dodge and burn because it can go a bit crazy so a little bit light i like the sun there as it is i don't want to well a little bit more is okay and a little bit there uh, maybe over here a little bit ching 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 bada bing bada bing bada bing bada bing just be careful with it though so and then uh, I like to finish off with a, the old classic vignette now I don't know what the hell but a lot of people don't like vignette <laughs> a lot of professional photographers they don't like it I don't know I've, I've seen it on a few YouTube a few of the pros oh look at this dickhead he put a vignette you yeah. know I like it I like vignette I reckon it's good it just kind of accentuates the whole scene and it gives you that dark, you know. And the, the beauty of this one, this vignette, which I think is the best one out, um, it's, got, it's got the inner light. It just gives you that extra little oomph there. That's pretty cool. So I don't know why people don't like vignette. I don't know, they think it's like amateur. You're an amateur if you use the vignette. Well, I don't know. If it looks good, it looks good. This one um, had a lady there. Because the shots were taken really fast in succession, that person moving there, there. So let's see if it worked. 
Yeah, it didn't. The ghosting and that made it all together. I mean, it was pretty fast anyway, the shots in succession. Now, using this bracketing and HDR, it's not just for skies and stuff. You can use it for, like, bringing out structures, like dark structures, like this tree. Now, it kind of helped a bit with the photo, the old bracketing HDR, but I can see I still need to develop it more. So it's, it's not your out-of-box solution, if you know what I mean. you still got to go in, and that's the beauty once again. You can go in and you're there, you write in Luminar and fine-tune. It's more to like save you from completely blowing out the highlights and the shadows. Okay, I want to bring it up a bit with a smart, but then drop down the highlights and then the shadows. Does it sound like I know what, what the hell I'm doing? <laughs> so I want to make this a bit more crunchy. So let's go to structure. We can do that masking again. And what the hell did it find this time? Natural ground. Oh yeah, that kind of worked. Man-made ground. What the hell is that? Mountains. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, the old luminar got a bit. Um, it's like I think it got its uh, wires crossed there. Human. Huh. It found that human person. Anyway. It's just easier to do the brush. Like I said, just brush that in a bit and I'll make that crunchy. Go there. Crunchy. What's boost? Yeah, boost gives it a bit more structure. So that's what structure does. Now, color wise, I want to make it a bit more vibrant and what's remove color cast do yeah maybe it's a little bit there now there's a classic one here called landscape and that's awesome the golden hour that's really good so and the foliage enhancer but you don't want to go too bloody neo with it that's when you get a lot of those people complain saying what the hell it's like a a fluorescent you know just uh you got to be careful with the sliders on luminar neo now i think the yellows are a little bit too much so you go back to the color go down to here go to saturations and the yellows bring it down a bit because otherwise it's just in your face too much so and then the oranges around this bit here i'll bring that up again even though the landscape golden hour did it, yeah, that's all right. And then I like to go to my old trusty super contrast. I think the shadows one, probably more. Yes, there you go. I'll finish off with the old classic vignette around about there. Now, the beauty of vignette, if you didn't know it was vignetted, then you wouldn't know it was vignetted. It's only the guy doing it that realises that it's vignetted. If you, unless you go overboard, you know, <laughs> like you know, like that. I mean, it's ridiculous. But if you didn't know, you didn't, you wouldn't have known that it's vignetted. You just got to be subtle about it. You know, I, I can understand the the pros going, "What the hell, man? What the hell's that?" But you know, you got to be subtle with it. I did this one as well because I saw the sky and I wanted the tree. I wanted it all to blend together. But I tell you what, you know what? I went to here. I went to the plus, which one was this? This was the plus two, you know, like exposed to the right. So I could bring all this back. I'll show you. I'll go back to revert to original. So I, I didn't really even need the HDR. There's enough bits and bytes in a raw file that you can bring stuff back. So, you know... I think with HDR, it's probably like extreme cases, you know what I mean? Where you really need to, um, you know, save the highlights and stuff from being blown out too much. Also, you don't even need to master the bloody sky because this enhanced thing has a sky enhancer anyway. And it already does it for you. <laughs> so I didn't even need to master the sky because this sky enhancer, it already cut it out for me. So... And then you just do X accent. That looks pretty cool as it is. I don't even need to do much there. It's like they say, if you spend too much, 
time on a photo, then um, you really didn't take the photo properly. <laughs> so the longer you spend editing a photo, the more chance that you took a shit shot in the first place. So I don't really want to do anything crunchy here. Maybe I'll go to that landscape and what does Dehaze do? Dehaze kind of Dehaze kind of gives you that circular polarizer effect. You see there? That's what Dehaze is good for. And golden hour. Whoa! Now we're getting to the high saturation, but that looks pretty cool. <laughs> That's Lumina bloody Neo, all right. Just to, I'll ease off on that. And I don't even need to go into the colors. That's really uh, popping as it is. What's the highlights? Not much. Shadows, not much. You beauty. What can I do now? A little bit of super contrast again. Maybe I'll make that tree just shine a little bit more. And the green trees, make them a little bit darker. Like I said, I don't want to go overboard. And then finish it off with the old classic vignette. Does it need one? Probably not. No, it doesn't really need one. I'll just do a little bit anyway. That's it. That's pretty cool. Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> I'm a sucker for the old vignette. Uh, yeah, I mean, also, if you didn't want to do that, uh, you could also just choose a revert to original. You can go to a preset and see what the presets give you. you got your close-ups. The, the, I like this, how Luminar Neo um, suggests has an AI for the preset. So it's... It even says to you, for this photo, we recommend this one. You know what I mean? So it, let's go to scenery. And now you can actually hover over to see what it looks like. Clear and sharp. That looks shit. Pleasing touch. Fast fix. There you go. Everything that I did pretty much looks like fast fix. <laughs> so I just spent all that time when all I had to do was just do fast fix. But I like to fine-tune stuff myself. It just gives you more and more control. But presets are a good starting position. like so, And you can even slide how much you want. You know, too much or a little bit less. So, But fast fix kind of worked. And then if you want, that's a starting point, like all presets should be. Then you can go in and fine-tune it to what you want. Sky Enhance. Whoa, too much. So there you go, HDR Merge Luminar Neo. That's your um, all your eggs in one basket there. So like I said, Luminar is now making it so you can have a one-stop shop for everything. You know, put it all in one. There's all the other ones, Super Sharp. I can't remember the other ones. But uh, HDR Merge was the first one that came, and now they've got about six or seven of them already. And I think they're bringing out new ones every month or something. So... Um, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, so I've got a link for ten percent off. Um, if you ever if you ever buy it, uh, don't pay f full price. Use the ten percent link, um, and then you get ten percent off. Or try it out first. All right, that's it. <laughs> I'll um. Thanks for watching. I'll um. No worries. So thanks for watching. I'll uh, catch you on the next one.